More than 3,500 COVID-19 deaths have now been reported in the U.S., and that number is projected to skyrocket. We are already above the number of deaths reported in all of China. We know the facts can be scary, especially when so much is simply unknown. But today, we found a hopeful sign, and it's happening right here in Chicago. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is live at Northwestern, where COVID-19 patients are undergoing an experimental treatment. Megan. Right, Erica, it's a drug that was used to treat Ebola patients. Now two hospitals, Northwestern and UIC, are part of an international trial to see if that could work for COVID-19 patients. This is a double-blind trial, meaning that neither the doctor nor the patient know if they've taken the drug, but they're hopeful to see some results soon. This is one looking at an agent specifically targeting the virus. And so, um, you know, we're all really hopeful that this is going to show some benefit. Um, you know, obviously, ideal would be it shows benefit in everyone, no matter what stage of disease you have. The drug being tested is called remdesivir, again, an antiviral drug developed to treat Ebola. It has been effective in treating coronaviruses. The drug is injected intravenously. This is a randomized placebo-controlled double-blind trial, but there is a board that will be monitoring which patients are taking it and what their progress is to see if the drug is effective. Dr. Richard Novak, the principal investigator at the UIC trial, tells me he has one 88-year-old patient enrolled in the study whose symptoms appear here to be improving. Whether or not the drug is playing a role, but uh, she is, does seem to be recovering, so, and she is in a, in a high risk group for doing poorly, so I'm pleased that she's getting better. And Megan, this drug is one of two that are currently being studied as therapeutic options for COVID 19 patients. Right, the other is hydroxychloroquine. It is a malaria drug that's been around since the 1950s. There's currently about a 2,000 person study uh, that's going on right now to see if that could also be effective for COVID 19 patients. Live in Streeterville, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Megan, thank you.